All right, Avantgarde starting uh, to the west. Uh, there, uh, no, yeah, to the west uh, as the yellow side. Their opponent, Sea Dogs Revolution, starting uh, to the east as the blue side. Let's and get the uh, show on the road. yeah, tank selection pretty pretty heavy over on both sides. Sea Dogs going with three heavy tanks. You know, one medium T69 and one MX13. So uh, compared to Avantgarde, slightly more mobility. Uh, but definitely Avangard do have more firepower. Uh, the only difference is that uh, yeah, the MX-1390 was traded for a third of 5100 on the, on the uh, Avangard side. Yeah. Uh, that's about the only difference. So uh, yeah, more scouting options, uh, more map control options when it comes to uh, the Silly Ducks, whereas Avangard definitely are banking on that long-range damage uh, factor. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Avangard actually kept their MX-50 back at the base. Yeah. And they're actually, in, it looks like they're actually going to do that. They have yeah. three of their heavy tanks back at the base. They're just going to use those AMX 50s as snipers and use other tanks as a kind of frontline scouts. Scout. Yeah, exactly. exactly. They're not committing to the Northern Pass. I think it's very smart of them to do that, uh -huh. uh, actually, because their defense is pretty solid right now. Yep, exactly. Yeah, those AMX 50s don't have clear shots into the Northern Pass as well. So they're not, they're not, uh, they're wisely not committing, you know, too many forces up there. Maybe like a T1 scout just in case. Uh, but other than that, yeah, really committing to this this hill over here uh, in the kind of bottom central map. It area would be. Of the map. Yeah, I agree, because it would be kind of reckless to commit like all five tanks in a forward push. Um, assuming that, you know, Fresh Meat or Hemitech gets taken down early, then you've got no defense whatsoever uh, on those MX 50s, pretty much. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's pretty wise for them to just do something a little more conventional like this. And uh, well, on the other side, Silly Ducks with a really strong presence to the Northern Pass, pretty much. Yeah, um, this but is pretty standard. Exactly, but they're not going to dare like uh, advance just yet. Uh, I, I don't yeah, think yeah. Uh, they would be, unless they stay to uh, to the west of that rock formation, which would just give them uh, uh, enough cover uh, to advance. I'd say about 50 meters, but that's about it, really. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, after that, they'd just be wide open for. Uh, for flanking shots, pretty much. So mm -hmm. I don't think they want to do that just yet. Yeah, Tavoti was up there on the hilltop. He is retreating now, but yes, he, he might have been able to spot some of the Avatar members that were up there as well, because they are right to the south of the, of the hill. Yeah, they are, like Fresh Mean and Hermitech are. Yeah, I spot them, actually. If he goes a little bit more south, he's going to spot those members of Avatar. Are they still there? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they, are, they have spotted each other. Tavoti is just yeah. right there, pretty much. So yeah, Fresh Mean and Hermitech just on the hill, as you mentioned. Uh -huh. Actually, fresh meat almost just taking a dive into the ocean right now. <laughs> he's yeah. like, oh, he's uh, like right there on the ledge. Yeah. A mouth slip, and that might do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is, that won't be a good situation to be in. That'd be really funny though. Yeah, to fall into the water, but a trifle embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, but silly ducks. They be, yeah, they really have control of this northern pass. There, they're not committing for a push just yet, though. Just due to the fact they don't have you no. Know, uh, 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 a really clear picture of where Avangard is. Exactly, uh, they, they, yeah. they really can't know uh, how many tanks, uh, if any, are committed to, uh, you know, that uh, northern part of... Like the the air, airplane hangar? Yeah, yeah, well, close to the south of the airfield. They, uh -huh. they have no idea if the 50s are there, yeah. or, or if they're back at the base, or... So right now, they can't, they can't afford to just, like, push uh, without uh, pretty much... With the guarantee that they're not walking into a trap, which is why they're very, uh, they're being very cautious as well. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I, I would send a T1 if our if our silly ducks right now. Yeah, I would. I, would uh, too. I, I think it'd be worth it just just to find out where those aiming could be. Exactly. Are. No, because they do know there's a pretty strong presence to uh, to the south, close yeah, to the yeah. water. So uh, they know at least like two tanks are there. Uh, so uh, if I were them, like the safe guess guess would be okay that Northern Pass is not as dangerous as we might have thought it would be. So like you said. Uh, sending a T1 would be a wise option. They're not doing so so far though. So, yeah, the uh, T1s are actually back at the base. I'm not exactly sure why. Exactly. Like, yeah. why would you leave your T1s at the base? Yeah, That's I mean, I, I can understand leaving one. You know, maybe if it comes down to that last second uh, kind of base race, then the T1 it will be really helpful. But you know, sending one, sacrificing one, just for. Uh, that little bit of information is always helpful. Indeed, I mean, that's the point of T1s. And meanwhile, like, yeah, Avantgarde, I don't think they feel like waiting anymore. They're sending this, uh, those 5100s to the water. Yeah. Uh, that is risky. That is very risky because look at that. Nobody is covering that eastern front, uh, that northern front, mm -hmm. uh, that northern pass pretty much. So if they're figured out, they're really leaving their base wide open. But look at that. Those 250s are just really, really, really going deep uh, into enemy territory now. They have crossed the, the midsection of the map. Yeah, and they they are at the southern base of the hill as well. So yeah, not, yeah. They, it's gonna be hard to uh, to actually spot them. But once they cross, then they should be in in you know pretty pretty decent positions to get actually shots off. 
Indeed. I mean, that's what they're trying to do, but it's very risky from Avant-Garde to do this, though. Yeah, definitely. It's it is extremely it's risky. Look all, at that. They're all sending, all like... They were, they were spotted. Yeah, they were spotted. And they're alone. Yeah. And they're alone. They got no cover whatsoever. They just... I, I don't understand what Avant-Garde is trying to accomplish here. Look at that. They're already taking so much damage. Yeah, they did do a little bit of damage onto Vayne. Yeah, but, but they're, they they're both at, like, half hit points already. Yeah, but they took way more damage than they actually Exactly. Held. It's ridiculous. Why would you even do that? Look yeah. at that Dodgy Bob. He, he didn't even fire a shot, and he's almost out. Yeah, Dodgy Bob can take out one more shot, and there he goes. I just don't understand what Avant-Garde is playing at, really. Yeah, I mean, Avant-Garde... They're always the team to try and make something happen. Yeah, but this is just suicidal. Yeah, what they just did is suicidal. The way they, they, they actually try and execute that as of late is, is very reckless, I have to say. It's it's because they, they had no idea of where uh, most of the members of the Silly Ducks were. You know, what they should have done is maybe sent a T1 to the Northern Pass. Yeah. Um, you know, both teams actually should have sent sent tanks to the Northern Pass just for that information. But unfortunately, both teams actually, you know, didn't didn't use that T1 to the fullest advantage and, and now Avant Guard is kind of paying, paying the price. I mean both their T uh Amix got taken well, out. Yeah, it was a other. suicide move. It yeah, was a yeah, suicide yeah. move. And then it's just like they just gave this match away. I uh, very disappointing, I gotta say. I'm not trying yeah. to be like way biased here, but uh, I mean it really doesn't take rocket science to figure out that sending two fifty one hundred on the beach right out there without no cover um, is not the best of options to say yeah. the least and that's a euphemism look at that fresh meat taking so much damage as well yeah, he gets, gets taken, taken down so uh, if you ask me it looks like a clean sheet almost yeah quite possibly only three tanks remaining on Avant Garden here we have Hermitech yeah uh, maybe we'll be able to take out Ash Gary Musketeer but not even so because uh, Musketeer decides to hide behind that rock so uh, yeah. Uh, he's not gonna be threatened uh, no more. And uh, yeah, Bingo Bongo, it's only a matter of seconds before Bingo Bongo gets like totally surrounded. Yeah. Uh, once Hermitech gets taken care of, uh, Bingo Bongo goes his next team on Yeah, here, here, here he yeah, is. Here we have Bingo Bongo. And yeah, Obelisk one, alone would be enough. Oh, he does manage to uh, take out Ash Gary Musketeer. Oh, uh, wow. So that's not gonna be a clean sheet. Yeah. Close enough. No. So Bingo Bongo, the last one. Obelisk not right even there. firing a yeah. shot, decides to ram him. And the uh, yeah. blade, uh, yeah, it's gonna go down. Yep, here we have the T1 battle. Blade actually managing to take out one T1, but E tip here. Uh, he should be able to take out this no problem. He'll actually, he's actually running, he might be reloading. Well, yeah, because no, Komodi's right there. So. Yeah, yeah. 